you know, math is about getting the right answer. And we want kids to learn to think so they get the right answer. It's not about how you feel about the problem or to introduce some of these other things. It's there's a right answer and there's a wrong answer. And we want all our students getting the right answers. And so most of the books that did not meet Florida standards for whatever reason happened to be in the early grades. Uh, as you get into the older grades, most of those books did meet the standards. But um, uh, we're going to continue to focus uh, the education on the actual strong academic performance of the students. Uh, we don't want things like math to have you know, some of these other concepts introduced. It's not been proven to be effective. Ron DeSantis is uh, well continuing this train of banning books in schools, except now they've crossed over into math books somehow. And how they're mixed in with some CRT is mixed in with math. And if you listen closely to what he was saying there, uh, there's not many examples. And a little bit of scrutiny on these points that they're having about how their CRT and math books, it doesn't hold up. So let's look at some of the details here about what's happening, what opponents are saying when they're searching for some kind of answers as to what it is that they're talking about down there. So there's uh, the DeSantis administration does not appear to have, have published a list of banned books or specific reasons each book was banned, nor did they provide any examples. Now, uh, they also did not explain how or why the supposed indoctrination materials were initially approved, how long uh, they've been in use, or when negative outcomes they have produced, if any. Democratic State Representative Anna Ismani, Eskamani, excuse me, said the governor's office had yet to provide us with specifics. The governor's office claims that they can't because the authors own the rights to the material. You can't name a book, you can't say the name of a book that you're banning because the authors have a right to the material. How about the name? They have a right to that too, so you can't say it anyways. Continuing on, because that's already BS. His press, his press secretary, Christina Pushaw, also tweeted a math problem which mentions non-binary students. But that example is not found in any Florida school books. The examples shared by the administration are at this point not relative to Florida, which is a habit that Governor DeSantis does. And that's what Eskimani said as well. So Florida State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith, he piled on to this criticism. He talked about the things that Ron DeSantis is doing and how obvious this is that it's not real. Watch. They have not provided any evidence or any examples as far as why they have rejected these math books for allegedly containing critical race theory. I think it's important for your viewers to understand what has happened to Florida under the DeSantis administration. Yes, the Florida Department of Education has been politicized, but it's gone way past that. DeSantis has turned our classrooms into political battlefields and he's put our kids in the crossfire in order to advance his presidential ambitions. Now he's banning math textbooks claiming they indoctrinate kids with CRT, but they won't give us any examples of where that is happening in the math books. They won't show us the reviewer score sheets, it's because it's not there. Well, there's all those details about what people are looking for and how nothing has been found yet. So before we get to some of the details of how they try to prove this is their case, and again, that failed. Waz, what are your first thoughts on what they're trying to do here with these <laughs> CRT math books? <laughs> I'm of two minds here. Um, either they're banning books that Florida schools aren't using, and so therefore it doesn't apply, or they're banning a whole list of books because Ron DeSantis has a homie, a crony, if you will, who wants to step in and provide new books and get the money for it. Like there can only be two mm -hmm. actual reasons for this because otherwise, this makes absolutely no sense <laughs> whatsoever. Well, we can also tell that the buzzword is CRT. So, I mean, if nothing else, let's get some examples of what it is that the CRT has been yeah. chocked full in all these textbooks we have to get rid of. Because again, Ron DeSantis' press secretary, Christina Pushaw, did post some things about this. So really fast before we get to the images of that, this is what was talked about this on this local station as well. Pushaw's tweets also show math problems that mentioned sex abuse and pimps. Again, they're not in any Florida school books. <laughs> FGCU mathematics professor, Dr. Synthil um, Balaj Grishmuran, my God, um, that person, that doctor there, uh, had never seen a textbook reference of the verbiage Pushaw's tweets reference. So let's look at that. She tweeted this out. Let's look at that image, and she goes, "This math homework is from a public school district in Missouri. How does this help kids learn algebra exactly? 
No wonder China is winning. So you have to toss in the China reference because that has something to do with this. But if you look at this question, if you can't see it on that piece of paper, it says it was talking about Maya Angelou and there was this mix between Maya Angelou's life and these math problems where this represented between X and Y. So it said Angelou was sexually abused by her mother's blank at age eight, which shaped her career choices and motivation for writing. That's what the first question asks. So that's a problem for them. The problem that they have here is that this worksheet came from a Pennsylvania school district from a teacher who found this online and tried to have this cross promotional thing from January of 2017. Here's the full page of that worksheet. And it's a person puzzle, it mixes her life, some facts from her life with this math lesson. And this is what they're referencing is what CRT is being taught in schools. But then they reference that there's some things about a boyfriend abusing someone. And there's also stories about working as a dancer and other potential possibilities of talking about prostitution and pimps. All these things were in this worksheet apparently on these two questions that she pushed out there. But still, they're banning books. That don't include this worksheet, which this worksheet also doesn't include anything with CRT. If nothing else, this exposes just how much they have no clue what it is. But as soon as they see a black person, Maya Angelou, that's referenced in a in a math problem that's not in Florida books or any books, suddenly it's CRT. I wonder how that works. Yeah, I don't I don't think they're really concerned with actual CRT that's taught in like law schools, right? Like, Mm -hmm. I don't think that's their actual concern. They just don't want any nature of their education to be racialized, which I think is hard to do (laughs) in America. Like, if if you're gonna teach the social studies specifically, right? I and I don't even have a problem with the idea that you shouldn't be talking about Maya Angelou's rape in math class. Maybe not, Um, but as as she is one of our most prominent Americans in the arts that we've ever produced from this country, talking about her life story in a factual manner in social study, I think that's that's normal. I don't I don't see what the what the big deal would be here. But again, like this is all made up kabuki theater. Like there's no actual there there. The kids aren't being taught about gender non-conforming or non-binary people. Mm-hmm. In their geometry class, like this is this is cat. This is well, and, this, well, this and if they, well, yeah. And if they were, it's still not CRT. It's this <laughs> lack of right. understanding of what is, and they have no, they have no, uh, uh, not even authority. They have no. There's no pressure put on them by their supporters. Do they go? Oh my God, where are these things happening, uh, DeSantis? How can I rid them of my child from these types of topics? They're not giving them to you because they're not there. Again, what is CRT? They don't know. CRT to them is mentioning a black person. Because if you mention a black person, some people might actually know there's a life story behind black people. And they're not just these pawns that get used in political games or people you just hate for the sake of hating. Because that's what they're really pushing when it comes to their supporters and these types of folks. If you mention a black person in a positive light or even anything about them in school, can't learn about black folks, can't learn it. It's not gonna work out for us, that's CRT, it's stupidity.